All right, so in this problem, we're going to do an example of using Fathom to simulate an experimental probability. So here, five babies are born consecutively. We want to estimate the probability that all five of them are girls. We're going to start by opening up a document in Fathom, and we're going to drag down a collection box. So this collection is going to have two cases in it. And I'm going to call the variable uh, baby. The first case is going to be that the baby is a boy. The second case is that the baby is a girl. And the way we're going to simulate babies being born is we're going to take five cases out of this and use replacement for each time. Okay, so we're going to hit collection, go up to collection, and sample cases. Okay, we want with replacement because once a girl is born, we want the chance that the next baby is a girl as well. We'll deselect animation on so that it doesn't slow it down. And we want five cases because we want five babies to be born. So now let's sample more cases and drag down a table to see what our collection looks like. So here we have five babies being born. Each of them has the same random chance of being a boy or a girl because we randomly picked boy or girl out of this collection for each baby that was born. All right, now we want to have the computer count how many girls there are among these five babies. To do that, we're going to hit measure, define a new variable, maybe count of girls, and for the formula, we're going to type count baby equals girl. And we need the quotes around it. Now hit OK. So now we're ready to have Fathom simulate a bunch of rounds of five babies being born and compute the number of girls in each of those collections of five babies. So to speed it up, we're going to minimize that table there, close out the sample inspector, highlight sample of collection 1, then go to collection, collect measures. Okay, again, collect measures is where we're going to simulate a bunch of cases of five babies being born and count how many are in each that are girls. All right, let's drag down a table for this so we can see that the data is how it's supposed to be, and it looks pretty good. So in the first case of five babies, four of them were girls. The next case of five babies, four were girls. The next case were five, and so on. Okay, so these are the number of girls that were in each batch of five babies born consecutively. All right, for the experimental probability, we want more than five cases. Okay, so let's simulate, um, so deselect animation. So we'll simulate 30,000 in total. So we need 20, 29,995 more um, rounds of five babies being born. So now hit collect more measures. Okay, so now that we're finally done, we are ready to determine the proportion of all of these counts that are fives. Okay, so remember, these are counting the number of girls in each batch of five babies. So we're going to drag down a summary, drag down this variable that we want to examine, and then what we want to look at is the proportion of times for which the count of five girls is equal to five. Okay, so five babies born, we want all to be girls, so the count of girls is five. Okay, so right here we have the experimental probability, or an experimental probability, 0 0.0305, that when five babies are born consecutively, they're all girls.